so that you know what it's trying to reflect for your business, it is to some degree a dumb tool because all that AWS can see whether, is whether you had your servers on um, in the month that we run it on. We don't know whether it was a trial and you were just doing testing um, for a month. We don't know if it's a dev test environment that you're still working on, how you can automate turning it on and off at night. Um, so you use this as a starting point for understanding how you can save money. So if we just want to quickly run through this um, so you understand it, it is very wordy, which is why I wanted to spend some time here. Um, the first line, so we're looking at uh, existing on-demand um, rates versus a one-year reserved instance or a three-year reserved instance. Um, so the break-even point, and that's where your cash flow actually ends up ahead, and we'll dig into that a little bit, it's point 0.5. Um, but you see for a one-year, you break even in terms of cash flow within five months, and a three year, it's within seven months for this particular client. It could be slightly different, but those are normally rule of thumbs. So the total upfront investment, for example, for the three year, and we'll just look at that for the time being, would be $54,000 um, initially versus paying nothing uh, upfront for your on-demand rate. However, as you move to the right and we look at the recurring monthly cost, you see it drops almost eight, well, more than $8,000 from $11,234 a month down to $3,100. And you only make that $54,000 upfront payment once in three years. So you see the first year cost, you've still saved money over running on demand, um, about $50,000. Um, but in the second year, you're saving almost $100,000 and the third year. And that's how you end up saving almost 60% over a three year reserved instance model here. Um, and so if we look at those three year um, RI savings in the next table down, uh, over three years, you're saving almost $240,000. Uh, and the two, the two um, pictures below uh, are graphical representations of both these tables. So the tool and when, what we've presented to you um, is based on the most recent month. So this one, and apologies, I've cut that off there a little bit, um, is run for September. Uh, but what we found was people often didn't even realize how long these servers had been running for. They didn't know um, that they, for example, had been running tw more than 20 standard smalls over the last five months. So we included that. And um, what this is saying is these servers that are in this graph have been on 24 by 7 or very close to 24 by 7 um, in each of those months. Um, so as we just saw, um, you can break even on uh, one year RIs after five months. So going back to May, had they gone ahead and done this purchase, they'd already um, be in, in a position where they're just saving money uh, and they've already dealt with the fact that they had to do a little bit of a cash flow um, output. Uh, and so you can see down the bottom, um, they've had approximately 90 servers or more running every month for the last five months here. Uh, point three uh, goes into the very specific detail and this is what you might use to go ahead and make the purchase in the console. So it tells you uh, the region, it tells you the availability zone, it tells you the operating system, the instance type, um, and it tells you the reserved instance type that we're suggesting. Now again, as I said, this is a, a reasonably dumb tool in that we don't know what applications you're running. Um, but if you can sit there and say um, September um, or October, whatever um, report you have, um, was a real representation of what normally happens, um, you could use this as a tool to start making those purchases. So point four um, shows you the breakdown uh, based on instance type on the actual cost that you need to pay to reserve them. So you might say, um, yes, that's very good, but only 50% of what we were doing in September um, is appropriate for me to reserve now, uh, and the rest isn't. So this gives you that breakdown of what it might look like if you didn't do it um, all at the same time. So if you look at line three, you can see there's 10 Linux mediums. Um, if you wanted to reserve them for three years, you could do that independently of the rest, spend $5,800, um, but then your monthly rate drops almost $1,000 down to 277 in this example. Uh, and then the, the next uh, little table below that shows you if you did do all of them, um, what those costs would look like. And this is how you can tell, um, and this is a question we get, is what's the difference between a one year and a three year? 
Um, and the one year you can see uh, in the first year, um, you pay more than $50,000 less than if you did on demand. Um, and it's actually also in the first year slightly cheaper than the three year RI, um, just over $10,000 cheaper. So what the difference is, is the one year RI is exactly that. You're reserving the lower price for one year. If you wanted to go ahead and get that lower price again the following year, you'd need to pay the upfront fee again. Whereas the three year RI is where you pay about 150%, so about um, 1.5 times more um, than the one year upfront but you get the lower price for the whole three years. Uh, so you can see after the first year, the price drops significantly. And then finally, this one's a, a real uh, interesting graph um, and, and there's a lot of detail here. So I don't wanna spend too long on this, but um, there are a lot of businesses that run on AWS um, that are cash, cash flow sensitive. Um, and Amazon itself is a business that, as I mentioned, um, focuses on operating um, on maximizing free cash flow. So what this shows you is um, what the cost and the cash flow impact is um, if you went ahead with either a one or a three year RI um, versus what you're currently doing. And you can see the highlighted cells there. So if we just look at the one year RI, and that's what we'll do, um, you can see the first month um, with on demand would cost you 11,000. Um, whereas the one year RI, the first month would cost you 38,000. Um, but then the second month of the on-demand doubles naturally, um, whereas the one-year RI actually only goes up by just under $4,000 and then so on. And then by month five, you're actually already ahead um, on that cash flow. Uh, and you can see that happens for the three-year RI in month seven. Uh, and then if we get down to the 36 months in the bottom right-hand corner, you've saved uh, 41 or 59 percent uh, and as much as $240,000 over that period. And then finally, the last page um, will take you through the process for purchasing it. As I mentioned, um, the, the process for procuring and using um, instances does not change. Um, however, you can go into the console and you'll see under where you normally procure your instances, um, number two, you can select reserved instances. Uh, and then you can jump in and purchase what's appropriate for your business. Uh, and that's it. So thank you all uh, for your time today. Um, we'll see if there have been any questions um, throughout it. Otherwise, my details are there. Uh, I'm an account manager in Sydney. More than happy um, for you to contact me directly if you uh, aren't working with an account manager. Uh, and either I'll work with you or um, we'll put you in touch um, with your appropriate account, account manager. Um, now we'll just have a quick look for any questions. If it's something you want to discuss uh, privately, obviously just email or call me directly. Okay, we've only got one question. And that is for uh, the script for memory utilization on Windows and Linux instances. Um, so. What I can do if you want to email me directly, Dean, uh, I'll provide you the documentation, um, but it is in uh, the CloudWatch um, documentation. Uh, and there's some sample scripts that run on most flavors of Linux uh, and the Windows instances that you can run. Um, so if you want to drop me an email, I'll provide that, um, but I don't have it handy right now. Ah. Steve, that's a uh, very good question. So Steve's asked, can you increase the RI size as well as decreasing uh, as I demonstrated? Yes, you absolutely can. Um, and apologies, I should have made that more clear. Um, so you can in exactly the same model. So uh, eight smalls could be made into uh, an extra large or two larges uh, and so forth. Um, so you absolutely do have that level of flexibility as well. Um, so I'll just uh, I'll hang on the, the call for a few minutes and see if there's any more questions.
Oh, thanks, Mark. All right, so if you do have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me uh, directly. Uh, that email there uh, is boydm, B-O-Y-D-M, at amazon.com, or feel free to call. Um, if there's nothing else, uh, we'll jump off the call. Thank you all um, for your time, uh, and I hope you feel confident um, in optimizing your spend now on AWS.